So the next part of the neurological examination is assessing proprioception. Uh, that is to say whether or not the animal uh, is aware of where its feet are in space, both motion and position. And the three most common tests that we use to assess that is the knuckled over paw, hopping and hemi walking. But of course, we also are assessing joint position when the animal is just normally walking around in our, in our gait examination. When you're doing a knuckled over paw, it's incredibly important to fully support the animal's weight. So difficult to do in large animals. If you don't fully support your, their weight, then the influence of them having to support themselves is also being assessed. And if the animal is very weak, then that's going to cause a delayed response. Likewise, using a, the paper pull test is very inaccurate because the um, the animal, again, if they're weak, they will be delayed. When we do hopping, we push the animal over um, while supported. And as soon as the joints are not aligned, so the shoulder is not aligned with the carpus and the hip is not aligned with the hock, then they should be able to hop. And failure to hop successfully can also be um, uh, a loss of muscular strength. But in that case, the supporting limb will, will collapse rather than them being a delay. I find hemi walking extremely useful in cats um, uh, and it's a bit more difficult in dogs.